Hi there, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network. Back on the 18th, we were talking about the Heartland Bridge, the longest bridge in the world at just under 1,300 feet, just under 400 meters, and how it was almost destroyed by an ice jam. Today, we're talking about a bridge that did succumb to an ice jam. It is the Honeymoon Bridge Collapse in Niagara Falls. It was originally called the Upper Steel Arch Bridge. It was also known as the Honeymoon Bridge or the Falls View Bridge. Anyway, it's it was called that because it is past tense. It was an international bridge like we see at crossings. It crossed over the Niagara River, connecting Niagara Falls, Ontario with Niagara Falls, New York. It was built in 1897, was completed by 1898, and by and for its time, it was considered the greatest steel arch bridge in the world. But it did come with a problem because of its proximity to the water surface. The first scare happened on <laughs> in January of 1899. We barely had this bridge up. Huge ice ridge threatened to tear it down, but it survived until 1938. On the 23rd, a sudden windstorm off Lake Erie sent a deluge of ice down the Niagara River. And within 12 hours, this bridge was under siege. It was only a matter of time before it would fully collapse. Didn't immediately. It held in there valiantly. (laughs) And in the time it took between the 23rd and the 27th, people were gathering every day to get the final look at the bridge. But on the 27th, later in the afternoon, it fell into the Niagara River in one piece. The bridge was finished. They set really quickly to building a replacement for it, and it was ready by by November of 1941. You know what that bridge is called? It's called the Rainbow Bridge from this day in weather history.